Welcome to the Black Sheep Props channel. I'm Steve and I'm here to teach you the tips, tools, techniques, and materials for building your very own super cool EVA foam props. Um, if you're returning to the channel, thanks for digging us. Uh, I'm glad you came back. If you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. Uh, hope you enjoy the ride. Um, and we don't like to fool around here, enough chit chat. Without further ado, Black Sheep Props would like to introduce you to the newest member of the family. The Fortnite Pickaxe. <laughs> that's right, check out that monster. Ooh, that's a big prop right there. Um, this is a super cool build. Easy, you can do this, but it's got a lot of cool stuff on it. It's got the body here that has this like gradual, gradual stepped up detail. We've got these super cool intricate builds at the top. We've got three different pieces we're gonna make. We've got the faux steel teeth at the bottom. We've got our circle details. We've got our tapered and curved pieces on this end and a little bit of geometry going on in this top piece and we've got a enforced reinforced handle so there's something in here we're going to talk about that uh, we looked at that back when we did the viking axe but we're going to do a little bit of a different technique for making this handle sturdy um, so in this episode making an eva foam fortnite pickaxe part one we're gonna start going step by step through how to make it. So if you're ready to hit it, let's make something. Okay, here are most of the pieces for our Fortnite pickaxe. Very simple build. We're going to cut a piece for both sides here to step it up, and then a thicker piece on both sides here to step it up. And then we're also gonna bring in some circle details. Um, every technique you're gonna see in here is something we've done already, so pow! You can do this. Okay, here is our three quarter inch thick foam that we're going to cut the central body part out of. Um, there we go. Okay, there's all of our templates transferred with Silver Sharpie to our foam. And now we're ready to begin cutting. Okay, we cut the major piece of the body with the bandsaw. Look at that. If you can invest the $120, $130 for a bandsaw and you're going to build a lot of props, definitely do it. You okay, now we took our next bandsaw piece. So it was a square piece. We cut it so we cut it off this way so that it, it's a tapered shape this way. And we made two cuts this way so that it's tapered. We may have the 90 degree cuts on here, but we're gonna do a lot of dremeling to round off edges and stuff. But there's a main piece of the body right there by doing two cuts on the bandsaw. And I'm telling you, you use the bandsaw once and it's worth the money. So if you can swing it, or you can have somebody help you swing it, uh, get a bandsaw, because it is the bomb. Okay, now we're going to cut the two pieces that we're gonna to use to sandwich on the two sides of the body because we want to create the stair step and take your time when you're going by your hand don't fly by your hand at 100 miles an hour you do not want to have an accident keep, keep your knife low now what we might do is because we're getting into a lot of corners and things like that now we're going to come in with the exacto knife okay there's our two pieces now Attach right there on both sides, that way we've got a step. Okay, next we're going to cut these two pieces, which are going to be the next step down on our body. Alright, there's our two pieces. You can see how those pieces lay right in like that on both sides. So now we've created a stair step from the highest down to medium down to the base. Okay, now we're going to cut these pieces out and we're going to begin to build our metal teeth that are going. Okay, we made most of our straight cuts with the box cutter. And now because we have some corners, we're going to go in with the X-Acto knife to hit the corners. Meet at the corner, stick our knife straight in and slide right through. Look at that. Okay, now we've got all of our metal teeth cut. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to heat seal these different pieces that are going to make up the metal teeth. Now we're going to hold these with the X-Acto knife. 
Nice, the foam tightened up really nicely. Now we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna do that to all the rest of these pieces. Get a little puddle of super glue there, like so. Dab it in, we're going to smooth it off. Look at that, nice and clean. Then we're gonna come in here on the edge and we're going to line it up. We're gonna do the same thing on this side, get the bottom wet. Hold it till it bonds. Just takes a few seconds and then boom. Pow, there's a cool set of teeth. There's actually three sets of teeth. For the okay, now we're gonna to begin to assemble the circle details. We're gonna do two of them, one for each side. We're going to stack up a few layers. So we're going to cut out these little C-shaped grooves because we want them to be recessed. So because we want them to be recessed, we're gonna come in with our handy dandy brass tube. We're gonna cut the circle ends and we're gonna cut the rest out with an X-Acto knife so that it's a complete see-through hole. Then we're going to cut this piece of foam out and stick it on top of another piece. So that way, this top layer has a recessed level down to this layer. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. Okay, so we poked out the two holes with the brass tube. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna come in, we're gonna stand our knife straight up because we want the smallest part of the blade cutting. We're gonna, we're gonna come right around, we're gonna line up with the edge of the hole that we made with the brass tube and boop, just like that. Now watch this, we'll do the other side too. Stand the knife straight up, come around here and we line up and pow, watch this. Love it. Okay, so we have our two pieces cut out for our two recesses. So after we assemble these and we stick them together and we cut out the circles, we're going to be sticking those circles inside these two holes. So what we're going to do is because it's not super thick foam, we could cut it with the X-Acto knife because we did in the original build. It's not a problem, but because we have a bandsaw now, we're gonna cut the outside with the bandsaw so that we have a perfect 90 degree cut. And obviously we can't get the bandsaw through to the inside, so the inside we're gonna do the old school way, which you can do. We've looked, stick it right through, and we're gonna keep the knife standing up. There we go, look at that. Okay, both are cut. We're gonna... And we're going to heat seal all of this foam to tighten it up, and then we'll glue it together. Go, look at that. Okay, we got our contact cement. Okay, now we have our three pieces contact cemented. Wait five minutes and boom, contact. We glued up our pieces, we let them all dry, we gave it five minutes. Now we're gonna come in and we're just gonna lay it down. We're gonna come in, we're going to set it down, we're just gonna tap it down and you get a nice recessed detail in there. Look at that, that's cool. So we did the thin outer piece, we used our brass tube, we punched a hole and a hole, and then we finished the cut with an X-Acto. We did two of them, and then we stuck them on a thicker piece. So now, when we cut these out, these circles with the recessed detail are gonna come over and they're gonna go inside here and they're gonna... Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut out our rings on the bandsaw and then we're going to use the Dremel to round off the edges. Okay, we have our four pieces for our two circle details. We have our piece we stuck together and cut our recessed space out of and we just cut it out on the bandsaw. We cut both of them out on the bandsaw so they're perfectly 90 degree angle and we cut the outer edge of our rings on the bandsaw, and we cut the inside with an X-Acto knife. Now we're gonna be able to put these inside here, but before we do that, we're going to dremel around the edge to round off the top a little bit, and we're gonna do a lot of rounding off of the top of the rings. So, dust mask, dremel. Okay, so now we're gonna take our super rough dremel bit, and we're going to start rounding off the edge Mm. 
Okay, we got a nice round edge now around the top. Now we're gonna go in with our smoother Dremel bit. Beautiful. That is radical. Man, get a Dremel. Gotta get a Dremel. We went over it first with the really rough bit because that tears off a lot of material. Then you go in with the smoother bit and you smooth that out. That is super nice. I'm gonna do that again to this one. I'm gonna hit it with the smooth Dremel. Then we're gonna hit it with the sanding sticks and pow, that is gonna be super smooth. With our 220 sanding stick and we're going to hit right where we Dremel. And that just adds to how smooth it is. Now we come in with our 320 and we hit it again. Nice and smooth. Wow, that is really nice, both of these. Now we're going to Dremel around the edge of our inner disc as well. Beautiful. Nice round edge on both of these as well. So now we're gonna do exactly what we did before. We're gonna come in with our 220 and we're going to hit our, now we're gonna hit our sides where we had the slight little bandsaw marks. Now we'll come in with the 320. Now while we're at it, we might as well hit the inside of our ring as well. What do we do after we Dremel and after we sand? We heat seal. Oh, wow. Everything has been Dremeled, sanding sticked, and heat sealed, and it looks fantastic. Now what we're gonna do is we're not going to glue these together. We're going to come in and we're simply going to stretch our outer circle around this piece. It's really super tight. All we have to do is contact cement the entire bottom surface of this so that when we stick it down, it's not gonna matter that these two aren't attached. Super easy. Okay, now we're gonna start cutting and assembling the three different sets of pieces that are going to be used to create these details on the front of the pickaxe. Okay, so we're going to cut the bevels on all of these pieces. We come in with our edge, we tip our knife at a 45 degree angle, right through. We just do that all the way around. Nice. Now we'll do the other two. We've got all three cut. We're going to take our template and we're going to draw in our little center cut piece we need to do. And because it's a tight piece, we're going to use the X-Acto. Okay, we transferred our pattern over. Now we're going to come in with our X-Acto. Remember what we talked about before, you stand it straight up. Pull right through, keeping the knife straight up because we want the smallest part of the blade because we're going to want to do a sharp corner. And then we're going to line up our corner cut like so. Beautiful. Look at that. That's a tight corner. Oh, nice. Okay, now we've got all of our pieces contact cemented. We wait five minutes and poof, contact. Okay, all of our pieces are dry and ready to stick. So we have our bevel edge around all of them and our recess detail. Okay, now all we need to do is line up our blade with the edge, line up our straight edge right where the foot of the bevel is. Let me come straight through. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That, and we just go all the way around and we cut all three out. Okay, there's all three pieces cut out. Okay, now we're gonna take the pieces that we cut and we're going to begin assembling all three of our stacks. Okay, now before we glue, we heat seal. 
not too much, just enough to change the surface. Okay, now we're going to make our Sharpie lines for where we're going to be gluing. Okay, we have all our Sharpie lines drawn for our contact cementing. Okay, that's the first set. We're going to go ahead and do the other two sets over there, and then as soon as they all dry, we'll stack all three together and they'll be all set. Okay, now it's time to stick them all together. We're going to line it up as centered as we can. So there we go. And there's number two. Beautiful, there's three. We're gonna stick all of our sets down to the very bottom piece. We're gonna line up nice and, wow. Now we're gonna stick the other two together and we'll be all done with these. Okay, now we're gonna begin cutting our strips that are going to wrap around the sides of these pieces. Metal edge for the long ends, freehanded it for the ends with our box cutter. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to bring this strip in. We're gonna start it at that edge right there. It's gonna wrap around the back. It's gonna come right around and it's going to stop right at that same edge on that side. We're gonna go in and we're going to use super glue. We're going to line up our edge right where we want it, just like that. Now we're going to come in, we're going to lay our piece down like so. We're gonna hold the end. There we go. Very nice little detail around the side of the piece. Now we'll do the other two. Okay, there we go. We've got all three finished. Look at how nice that looks. We've got the detail we just put on around the edge. The same way we wrapped the thick one around the back, we're gonna wrap the thin one around the front. We're going to put a little dab of super glue right on the center, line up where our dots, two dots go, there we go. Now we know it's in the center because we lined up our two dots. Now when we lay these two sides down, they're gonna be exactly symmetrical. Super easy. Put a tiny little bead of super glue. There we go. Just enough to hold that down. There we go. Had a lot of parts to it. Just a lot of measuring and a lot of being careful, but super easy. And multiply that times three. Okay, so we made great progress on this tonight. We got the body cut out with the bandsaw. We got all the pieces cut out for the faux metal teeth and we assembled those three different pieces. We cut out all of our pieces for these three builds on the end and we assembled all of them together. We dealt with our circle details that go on both sides. And uh, now next week, we're going to begin assembling all of these pieces onto the body and we're gonna move on to the piece on this end. Uh, we've already cut this, but we're going to assemble the geometric piece next episode, and we're going to deal with the handle and what we have embedded in here to make it stiff and sturdy. So, that concludes Making an EVA Foam Fortnite Pickaxe Part 1. I uh, hope you liked it. Uh, if you did, give us a like, uh, share us with a friend, and uh, subscribe to this channel uh, so together we can go step by step through a lot more super cool builds together so that you get the props you deserve. Thanks for coming, see you next time.